we're going to uh, just take a quick intermission here for a second to recognize the completion, as Simon Estes mentioned, of the, <coughs> excuse me, the new LED lights in the Durham band shell. That's your cue again. The electric upgrades to the 1935 band shell have addressed safety concerns, corrected code issues, and replaced outdated lighting with energy efficient LED fixtures. Our council continues to look for opportunities at all city facilities to upgrade to more environmentally friendly options and save natural resources. The LED lights you'll see tonight use less electricity than the ones they replaced. They allow city staff to clearly program lighting with performances. It's my pleasure now to introduce uh, Keith Abram, our Ames Parks and Recreation Director, who's going to offer some additional comments before we do an official ribbon cutting. Thank you, Mayor. So how about, before I uh, get into any details, how about one more round of applause for Simon Estes? That was awesome. I want to thank everybody for coming tonight and, and if you've been to some of the concerts you've seen some of the, the the light shows and the capabilities of these lights so we want to just uh, kind of give thanks to a couple of, uh, of companies Modus um, is the the company that designed um, the the lights and some of the electrical upgrades that we had and then Jasperine Electric um, was the contractor for the for the project so let's give them a round of applause So, so just some, some details, we're gonna kind of go from uh, um, where we were at uh, to where we're at right now. So so we used to have, in the, in the old system, there were like six bulbs out here. Uh, uh, actually, Keith, there, were, there was over 500. Five, 500, all right, 500. All right, I thought there were six. So, but now with these LED lights, we're at about 10,000 bulbs. There's uh, a ton of them. Uh, actually, uh, we don't have bulbs anymore, Keith. We have a light emitting diodes, 10,000 light emitting diodes. All right, thanks, Craig. Um, so, but I'm sure of this one. We only had like three colors, and uh, and now we have four. No, uh, no, actually, uh, we can do millions of colors. Steve. We have red, green, blue, and white bulbs, but we can actually do million, millions of colors with those bulbs, with those LEDs. Millions of colors, 500 bulbs. All right, light diodes. All right, colors. Okay. Well, with all these uh, diodes. Um, 10,000 of them or however many we have I'm gonna guess that uh, it's a good thing that we upgraded the power um, to, to operate um, the actually we saved so much power by switching to LEDs that we were actually able to install a 200 amp disconnect so that we can do larger concerts and events here at the band shop right. I guess I didn't know as much as I thought um, but I am sure of this one so with all these lights and the different millions of colors and, and the upgrades and everything like that, I'm sure you're the only one that can program this. Uh, no, actually, uh, anybody who rents the Banshell does get access and use of these beautiful lights if you rent the Banshell facility for any event or wedding or anything you might choose to. All right. So enough of the, the details. Let's see what these lights can do. All right. All right, how about we uh, do a little countdown, starting at five. Okay, five, four, four three, two, one. <laughs> Doncom, are you still in the house? Electric? All right, Greg, I think you better take over. Uh -huh. All right, well, thank you all for coming here tonight. Uh, in case you don't know who I am, my name is Craig Kaufman. Uh, I am the, the Auditorium, Bandshell, and Community Center Manager here for the City of Ames. Uh, like I said, this facility is available for rent, so if you like what you see here and you have an event that you're thinking of doing, you know, feel free to contact me. We're always happy to bring new events and new things here to the park. But I did want to say thank you all for coming. Thanks to the Council. Uh, thanks for all the folks who helped make this lighting and electrical project happen, and, and thanks to Keith. All right.
So now we're going to do a ribbon cutting. I'm not going to screw this one up because I'm going to let the, the mayor in charge. So go ahead, mayor. We can do another countdown here before he cuts the, the ribbon. All right, here we go. Let's start with five, four, Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, City Council. Thanks, everybody, for coming tonight. How about a big round of applause for the Municipal Band? Awesome. So. You just saw them in action there, and you're going to see them in action one more time. Those beautiful new LED lights. And uh, I'm going to show them off to their full extent here with the most fitting music that we could think of. Gets at the ooh and ah. Let's hear you say ooh. Let's hear you say, ah. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. We'll be coordinating the light show with Tchaikovsky's famous 1812 Overture. That overture, of course, written to commemorate the Russian military's successful defense of the homeland against the invaders of Napoleon's Grand Armée. So, only fitting that we'll make the occasion extra memorable by having that live cannon fire we've been telling you about. Craig Kaufman, the city of Ames, person in charge of these municipal band concerts, running those beautiful LED lights as we now proudly bring you our finale this evening, the 1812 Overture. <laughs> 